Good morning students. Today's class we will see about the medical termination of pregnancy. Deliberate termination of pregnancy either by medical or by surgical method before the viability of fetus is called induction of abortion. The induced abortion may be legal or illegal that is criminal. There may be many countries in the globe where the abortion is not legalized. In India, the abortion was legalized by Medical Termination of Pregnancy Act of 1971 and has been enforced since the year of April 1972. The provisions of the Act has been revised in 1975. Since legalization of abortion in India, deliberate induction of abortion by registered medical practitioner in the interest of mother's health and life is protected under the MTP Act. The following provisions are laid down. The continuation of pregnancy would involve serious risk of life or grave injury to the physical and mental health of the pregnant woman. There is a substantial risk of child being born with serious physical and mental abnormalities so as the, to be handicapped in the life. Where the pregnancy is caused by rape, both in the case of major and minor girl and mentally imbalanced woman. Pregnancy caused by as a result of failure of contraceptive. In practice, the following are the indications for termination under the MDP Act to save the life of the mother that is therapeutic or medical termination. The indications are limited and scarcely justifiable nowadays except in the following cases that is in the cardiac cases grade 3 and 4 with history of decompensation with previous pregnancy or in between the pregnancies, chronic glomerular nephritis, malignant hypertension, intractable hyperemesis gravidarum, cervical or breast malignancy, diabetes medicine with retinopathy, epilepsy or psychiatric illness with advice of the psychiatrist. And second is social indications. This is the almost all indication and is covered under the provision to prevent grave injury to the physical and mental health of the pregnant woman. In about 80%, it is limited to the Paris woman having unplanned pregnancy with low socioeconomic status. Pregnancy caused by rape or unwanted pregnancy caused due to failure of any contraceptive device also falls in this category that comes only 20%. Third is eugenic. This is done under the provision of substantial risk of child being born with serious physical and mental abnormalities so as to be handicapped in the life. The indication is rare. The structure that is anencephaly, chromosomal, that is Down syndrome or genetically like hemophilia. When the fetus is likely to be deformed due to action of teratogenic drugs like warfarin or radiation exposure early in pregnancy. Rubella, a viral infection affecting the first trimester is an indication for the termination. The recommendation in the revised rules, the registered medical practitioner is qualified to perform MTP provide. That is, one has assisted at least 25 MTP and authorized sender and having a certificate. One has got six months of house surgeon's training in obstetrics and gynecology. One has got diploma or degree in obstetrics and gynecology. The termination can all be only be performed in hospitals established or maintained by the government or places approved by the government. Pregnancy can only be terminated on written consent of the woman. Husband consent is not required. Pregnancy in a minor girl that is below age of 18 years or lunatic cannot be, be terminated without written consent of the parents or legal guardian. Termination is permitted up to 20 weeks of pregnancy, but in 2020, January, it was increased 24 weeks by Government of India. When the pregnancy exceeds 12 weeks, opinion of two medical practitioners are required. The abortion has to be performed confidentially and to be reported to the Director of Health Service of the state and the prescribed form. The, medical the method of medical termination of pregnancy in the first trimester means up to 12 weeks. Medical it is by mifeprostol, mifeprostol and misoprostol, methotrexate and misoprostol, tamoxifen and misoprostol. Surgical measures include menstrual regulations, vacuum aspiration, suction evacuation or curettage, Dilatation and evacuation that is two method, rapid and slow method. Second trimester it is prostaglandin, dilatation evacuation, intrauterine insulation, hypertonic solutions, oxytocin infusion and hysterotomy. The first trimester termination of pregnancy. The medical methods of first trimester of abortion are first one is mifeprostone and misoprostone. Mifeprostone is an analog of progestin. Acts on antagonist blocking the effect of natural progesterone. Addition of low dose prostaglandins improves the efficiency of post trimester abortion. It is effective up to 63 days and is highly successful when it is used within 49 days of gestation. Protocol 200 mg of imiprostone orally is given on the day 1. On the day 3, misoprostol 
400 microgram orally or 800 means microgram vaginally is given. Patient remains in the clinic for 4 hours during which expulsion of the conceptus occurs. Patient is re-examined up to 10 to 14 days. Complete abortion is observed in 95% Incomplete about 2% of cases and about 1% it does not respond at all. Oral mifeprostol with the vaginal misoprostol after 6 to 48 hours is equally effective. This combi pack is approved by DGHS, Government of India for MDP up to 63 days of pregnancy. Medical methods are safe, effective, non-invasive and have minimal or no complications. Methotrexin and misoprostol. Methotrexin 50 mg per meter means IM before that is 56 days of gestation followed by 7 days later misoprostol 800 microgram vaginally is highly effective. Misoprostol has to be repeated after 40, 24 hours if it fails. If the procedure fails, ultrasound examination is to be done confirming the failure. Suction evacuation should be done. Methotoxin and mifeprostol regimen is less expensive but takes longer time than mifeprostol and misoprostol. Misoprostol has less side effects and stable at room temperature unlike other prostaglandins which must be refrigerated. Contraindication Misoprostol should not be used for women aged over 35 years, heavy smokers and the long-term corticosteroids. Surgical methods of first time is abortion or first is menstrual regulation. It is an aspiration of endometrial cavity within 14 days of missed period in the woman with previous normal cycle. The operation is an outpatient or an office procedure. It serves aseptic precautions and in apprehensive patients, sedations of parasovical block anesthesia may be employed. After introducing the posterior vaginal speculum, the cervix is studied with Alice forceps. Cervix may be generally dilated using 4 mm or 5 mm size dilators. 5 to 6 mm suction cannula is then inserted attached to 50 ml syringe for suction. The cannula is rotated, pushed in and out with the gentle strokes. Third one is suction evacuation or curettage. This is improvised method consists of suction machine fit with a cannula either plastic or metal available in various sizes. The advantage include it is an outdoor procedure, hazards of general anesthesia are absent as it is done at the burst and the parasurvical block anesthesia. Ideal for termination for therapeutic indications, blood loss is minimal, chance of uterine perforation is much less especially with plastic cannulas. Drawbacks include the method is not suitable with bigger size uterus of more than 10 weeks as the chance of retained products is small, requires electricity to operate and then machine is costly. Vacuum aspiration is done up to 12 weeks with minimum cervical dilatation. It is performed as an outpatient procedure using a plastic disposable cannula and 60 ml plastic syringe. It is quicker, effective, less traumatic and safer than dilatation and evacuation and curatage. Dilatation and evacuation Two method, one is rapid and one second one is slow method. Rapid method, this can be done as an outdoor procedure with diastrophum sedation and parasovical block anesthesia. Advantages include, as it can be done an outdoor procedure, the patient can go home after sedative effect is over. Chance of sepsis is minimal. Drawbacks include, chance of cervical injury is small. Uterus should not be more than 6 to 8 weeks of pregnancy. Slow method. Slow dilatation of cervix is achieved by inserting laminar tents that is hygroscopic osmotic dilators into cervical canal. This is followed by evacuation of uterus after 12 hours. Vaginum is suppressed 400 microgram 3 hours before surgery is equally effective for cervical ripening. Advantages include chance of cervical injury is minimal, suitable in case of therapeutic indications and drawbacks are hospitalization is required at least for one day. Chance of introducing sepsis is more. Mid trimester termination of pregnancy. The medical methods include prostaglandin. Prostaglandins and their analogs are very much effective. They are used extensively, especially in second trimester. They act on cervix and uterus. The PG, that is the dinoprostron, sulfurstron, germipost, misoprostron, and PGEF, that is carboprost analogs, are commonly used. PGEs are preferred as they have more selective action on myometrium and less side effects. Mifeprostron and prostaglandins. Mifeprostron 200 mg oral followed by 36 to 48 hours later by misoprostol 800 microgram vaginum. Then misoprostol 400 microgram oral every 3 hours for 4 doses is used. 
success rate of abortion is 97% and median induction delivery interval is 6.5 hours. Pre-treatment with mifeprostol reduces the induction abortion interval significantly compared to use of misoprostol alone. Second, third one is Jamipros, that is PGE1 analog, 1 mg vaginal pessary every 3 to 6 hours for 5 doses in 24 hours has got about 90% of success. The mean induction abortion interval was 14 to 18 hours. Dinoprostone, that is 20 mg, is used as a vaginal suppository every 3 to 4 hours. When used along with osmotic dilators, the median induction to abortion interval is 17 hours. PGE2 is thermoliable, that means it needs refrigeration and expensing. Misoprostol, 400 to 800 microgram vaginally at an interval of 3 to 4 hours is most effective as the bioavailability is high. Alternatively, first dose of 600 microgram of misoprostol given vaginally, then 200 orally every 3 hours are also found to be optimum. The regimen reduces the number of vaginal examination. Recently, 400 my misoprostol is given sublingually for every 3 hours for a maximum of 5 doses. This regimen has got 100% of success in second trimester abortion. The mean induction abortion interval is 11 to 12 hours. Prostaglandins F2 alpha or carbapost promethamine. 250 SIM every 3 hours for maximum 10 dose can be used. The success rate is 90% in 36 hours. Side effects include nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, pain and injection site. The contraindicated with bronchial asthma. In the second group of drug is oxytocin. High dose of oxytocin as a single agent can be used for second trimester abortion. Its effectiveness is 80% of cases. It can be used with intravenous normal saline along with any of the medication used either in amniotic or extra amniotic space in an attempt to augment the abortion process. The trip rate can be increased up to 50 milli units or per unit minute. Currently, high dose is favored. Surgical method is difficult to terminate pregnancy in second trimester with reasonable safety as in the first trimester. The following surgical methods can be employed. Between 13 to 15 weeks, dilatation evacuation in the mid trimester is less commonly done. Pregnancies at 13 to 14 menstrual weeks are evacuated. In all mid trimester abortion, cervical preparation must be used to make process easy and safe. Intracervical tent like laminaria osmotic dilators, mifeprostone or misoprostol are used for the cervical ripening. Procedure may need to be performed under ultrasound guidance to reduce the risk of complication. Simultaneous use of oxytocin infusion is useful. Between 16 to 20 weeks, intrauterine installation of hypertonic solution. It may be done extramniotic or intramniotic. First is the extramniotic. Extramniotic installation of 0.1% of ethacrine lactate is done transcervically through number 16 Foley's catheter. The catheter is passed up to cervical canal about 10 cm above the internal os between membranes and myometrium and the balloon is then inflated with 10 ml of saline. It is removed after 4 hours. The success rate is similar to saline installation but is less hazardous. It can be used in case of contraindicated for saline installation, stripping the membrane with liberation of prostaglandins from the decidua and dilatation of cervix by catheter are some of the known factors for initiation of the abortion. Isotonic saline is infused extra-amniotically using a transcervical catheter balloon. Results are similar to that of Foley's catheter used alone. Second is intramniotic. Intramniotic installation of hypertonic saline is less commonly used nowadays. It is installed through an abdominal route. The preliminary is, the, the preparation of the patient is almost same like amniosynthesis. The amount of saline is to be installed is calculated by number of weeks of gestation multiplied by 10 ml. The amount is to be infused slowly at the rate of 10 ml per minute. The contraindications it should not be used in the presence of cardiovascular or renal lesions or severe anemia because of sodium overload. Precautions to be sure that needle is in the amniotic cavity, evidence by clear liquor coming out. If there is any bloody tap, the needle should be pushed further or change the direction until clear liquor come out. If fails, the procedure has to be abandoned. In installation should be in a slow procedure. Vital signs should be checked immediately after installation and she should be kept at the bed rest for at least one hour. To stop the procedure, if the untoward symptoms like acute abdominal pain, headache, thirst or tingling of the fingers appear, 
that is the features of intravascular injection of hypertonic saline a rapid infusion of 1000 ml of dextrose in water along with intravenous diuretics is indicated in such cases strict vigilance is taken during the following instations till the expulsion occurs the routine antibiotics is given as ambicillin 500 mg thrice daily for 3 to 5 days mode of action there is liberation of prostaglandins following necrosis of the amniotic epithelium and decidua there is in turn excites uterine contraction and result in expulsion of the fetus success rate the method is effective in 90 to 95% of cases with induction of abortion in the well of about 32 hours the method of failure that is considered when the abortion fails to occur within 48 hours if method fails some of other method may be employed complications the complications include minor complaints like fever, headache, nausea, omitting abdominal pain, cervical tear and lacerations, certain products for which the exploration has to be done, infection, hypernatremia, cardiovascular collapse due to intravascular injection, pulmonary and cerebral edema, renal failure, disseminated intravascular coagulopathy. In the incidence of death rate varies 0 to 5% in 10,000 installations. Hysterotomy. The operation is performed through an abdominal route. Indications are prior failed medical termination of pregnancy. Cases where D and D cannot safely done fibroid in the lower uterine segment, uterine anomalies, patients with sub repeated scarred uterus with placenta, creta or percreta. It is less commonly now nowadays. The operation should be combined with sterilization operation. Hazards of hysterotomy include immediate hazards of hemorrhage and shock, anesthetic complication in peritonitis, intestinal obstruction. Remote complications include menstrual abnormalities, scar endometriosis, incision hernia, in pregnancy occurs, chance of scar rupture. Rh negative woman, in non immunous woman, intramuscular injection of 1000 microgram of anti 100 microgram of anti D immunoglobulin is given within 72 hours of abortion. Complications of MDP, there is no universally safe and effective method which is applicable to all cases. However, the complications are much less in the, if the termination is done before 8 weeks and by MBA or suction evacuation or curate. The complications are 5 times more in mid trimester termination. Use of prostaglandin analogs and mifepristone has made second trimester MTP effective and safe. The complications are either related to the methods employed or to the abortion process. Immediate complications include injury to the cervix, uterine perforation dubbins during D and D, hemorrhagic and shock due to trauma, incomplete abortion, atonic uterus or rarely coagulation failure, thrombosis or embolism. Post abortal triad of pain, bleeding, and low grade fever due to retained clots or products. Antibiotics should be continued, may, may, may need repeat evacuation. Related to the methods employed are prostaglandins, use intractable vomiting, diarrhea, fever, uterine pain, and cervical uterine injury. Oxytocin, water intoxication, and rarely conversion. Saline, hypernatremia, pulmonary edema, endotoxic shock, DIC, renal failure, cerebral hemorrhage. Remote complications include gynecological complications are menstrual disturbance, chronic pelvic inflammation, infertility due to coronal block, scar endometriosis, uterine sins leading to secondary amenorrhea. Obstetrical complications include rectal and mid trimester abortion due to cervical incompetence, ectopic pregnancy, preterm labor, dysmaturity, increased painful loss, rupture of uterus, RH ISO immunization, RH negative woman if non prophylactically protected with immunoglobulin and failed abortion and continuation of pregnancy. Thank you.